Hi guys, Sarah Luhu here, and this is the look we are filming today. Hang out with me, chill, comment down below, subscribe so we can hang out more often. If you have any questions, type them up. I try to respond to everybody's. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. I'm not really sure how it's gonna come out, to be honest. I just feel like creating kind of a badass but cute look right now. So I decided to film it. So let's see how this goes. So I'm using my very favorite for right now. Um, Make It Forever HD foundation stick. It's, in my opinion, the fastest, fullest coverage, easiest stick foundation to use. Easiest foundation to use in general because it's a stick instead of a liquid, which to me, you just have to focus more time on blending well or else it looks not great. This brush is an IT Cosmetics brush. It's actually an IT Cosmetics for Ulta brush. Um, so you can only get them at Ulta and it is the comes in the airbrush kit. Next up I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal all that. And all that and all that and all that. Voila. Now we're going to blend with a beauty blender sponge. I like to start blending on the bottom first and I like try to really blend this and then I move up into where I want like the real coverage. I shouldn't say real coverage, more fuller co coverage because hopefully we have coverage, a little bit of coverage at least everywhere. My beauty blender is damp by the way if you guys use a sponge you want to run it under water or dip it in water and then wring it out really well um it really helps the blending process i feel like some people just think this should be known in general and not everybody knows to do that so make sure you dampen it and then wring it out i'm gonna come in and set this with my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender again and dip it in there and pull one of these. I like to set, like really, really set anything that has creases or like fine lines and wrinkles on my face, which is underneath my eyes and in my little smile lines because I'm just a happy person, okay? Voila. I'm going to let that kind of sit on, not push it in too far. I'm just going to kind of let it sit on top like that is for now and do a semi-bake. Let's bronze up, shall we? I'm going to come in with my Eco Tools blush brush. And I'm first going to take the Hula Light bronzer by Benefit. It's a nice like light shade, but it kind of warms me up. So I'm going to do a full face of this. And now I'm going to come in with the original Hoola, which is darker, and a contour brush. This is the Sephora Pro Contour, Pro Angled Blush Brush, excuse me. And I'm just going to add some contour into my cheeks. I have to be so much more careful now with platinum hair because... I put a lot of like foundation and everything on these little hairs and you can see it so it takes me a little bit longer. I always like to add a little bit of my bronzer or contour color onto my forehead which is normal but I also like to do it like I just did onto my eyelids. I feel so much more alive now. I'm going to chisel that contour in a little bit more with this small contour brush from Sephora. 
So I'm just going to use my Hoola bronzer and I'm only going to come in and kind of deepen that bottom edge of the contour. Super, super lightly, guys, with the super light handed. And let's get rid of that double chin while we're at it. Hmm? Yeah, let's do that. Ta-da! All right, guys, I'm going to come in with more of my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder so that I can chisel them jaw bones a little bit. And for eyes, we're going to come in with the Patrick Star MAC Cosmetics Glam AF Palette. It is gorgeous. I've done a tutorial on it before, but we're going to come in and use it again because it's just that pretty. I'm going to use a Morphe 501 brush to do a light sweep of, what is this one, brulee, of brulee, onto kind of the whole lid as a base. Especially into the kind of brow bone. My brow bones stick out a lot, so... Sometimes when I try to like blend in a crease color, it's hard because my brow bones make it that way. So a fun fact, apparently I'm like more Neanderthal than like 75% of the population according to my 23andMe DNA test. So maybe that's why my eyebrow bones stick out so far. I don't know, but whatever. All right, so we've got that wall base on. I'm going to come in now with Saddle, which is the super pretty kind of chestnutty color there. And I'm going to start working it into my crease. And to do that, I'm going to use the Morphe 513 brush. Work it, work it, work it. I find it so crazy how like, I have a bunch of Morphe eye brushes now. I ordered a ton for myself for Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. Um, and some of them I thought like, wow, these look just the same when I was unpackaging them. But now using them, they really do such different kind of techniques and like, Blending, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. A little dimension in there. Yeah. I'm coming in with a clean E22 Morphe brush now to just kind of help blend that into the base color, that brulee that we put on initially. Cool. And now we're going to come in with the darkest shade in the palette, Embark, and add that into the outer corner crease. Let's blend this out, shall we? Yeah. Uh-huh. Back to the E22 for blending purposes. I just freaked out because I thought this wasn't filming and I thought that I had done a ton not filming and I, I just freaked out, but I think I see the cord going. Yeah, I do. And now we're gonna come in with, oh my God, the shimmer shade of the collection. I'm coming in with a flat brush to apply this to the lid. And now I'm gonna take the E22 and blend everything together. Yeah. And for a little bit of dimension, I'm going to add in some hula to my lower lash line. I don't really like, unless I'm doing a total smoked out look, I'm not like a fan of super dark lower lash lines and the hula is the perfect shade for it these guys are like 
super duper duper pretty. They're from Gerard Cosmetics. This one's like a nice blush. It is Lucy. That one's Marilyn. And this one's Grace. We're going to go in with Grace in the inner corner of the eye to make it pop. The brush I'm using is from Sonia Kashuk. I got it a really long time ago, but it's like my go-to for inner corner shimmer. So we're going to stick with it. Comes to like a perfect little point. It's awesome. All right, guys. Let's move on to liner, shall we? Mm-hmm. Totally know that I said we're moving on to eyeliner. Um, I lied. I needed to take an Oreo break. The golden Oreo break. Um, we're going to move on to brows. And then I'm going to move on to eyeliner. For brows, we're going to use Benefits Cup Brow Cream Gel Brow Color. And Benefits angled brow brush. I feel like you have to use these two together or like you have to use this with this or the brush in here. I've tried using other brushes and it's not the same. Isn't that strange? I know. I'm just going to come in here and do like a very simple bold brow because I'm not sure I have patience for detailed liner and brows today and I really want the liner so yeah let's do this all right fast forward all right guys so I'm really kind of torn on what liquid liner I want to use I've really been crushing hard over the Pat McGrath like marker liner because it doesn't get in my lashes which is amazing and I have a lash lift right now, which means it's going to get even more in my lashes. So I feel like I'm, I'm just talking myself into the Pat McGrath liner. Here we go. So the Pat McGrath dual ended marker has a pointed tip on one side and like a legit marker tip on the other. And this straight edge on this one makes it so easy. Yeah, invest in this for sure. I told you guys it was getting crazy with the liner. Hopefully you believed me. Just kind of doing a broad outline right now. Cool. Now we'll go and fill it in. I feel like I need a closer mirror to do this. Got one. I try not to arch my brow too much when I'm doing winged liners because then when I relax my brow, I have a hooded eye so it can like look like the liner's off. So, I know it's hard, but try not to arch your brow. So, I just went in with the precise side and touched it up a little. Now that we have light again, that's always helpful. On to the next. Can we just take a second to talk about how crazy full and luscious these lashes are I mean it's not on I haven't I didn't put any glue on it because I'm toying with the idea of of using them right now um but holy crap if you are like a lash lover look at that these are from Lily Lashes this is the perfect pair from Sephora it comes with I know there's one Miami style. I'm not sh exactly sure what style this is, but like, whoa. I don't even think I can use these because they I have to like go run errands <laughs> and um, I might fly away. So guys, we're gonna come in with the trusty Roller Lash Mascara and throw that baby on. 
Longer last but the win. I like really, really, really love roller lash mascara, guys. If it was a man, I would marry it. It's just there for me, you know what I mean? And you know what? I'm gonna add some freckles because I can. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Caramel. I like to use this for my faux freckles because my real freckles, which you can't really see anymore because we covered them, um, are very warm toned. And the caramel shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills is a very warm shade too. So I'm going to come in with this little tiny Morphe brush. It's like a liner brush. And I'm going to dip it on in and just start making random freckles along my nose. I like to put them, like to start off putting them where I know I have some, just because it's like, I know there's freckles there already. See there's a couple of my real freckles shining through. guys now that we have added our freckles we should probably take this um highlighting translucent powder off and i'm gonna add some blush that yeah, little, little flush to the cheeks shall we i'm going to use the sephora this is their winter flush palette and i'm crushing hard over these two shades we're gonna use this one for today it doesn't have a name I don't think. No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to come in here, add a little bit of that to the cheeks. I'm really enjoying the dabbing. And for Lippy, I'm going to come in with the Fenty Beauty Single. It is my favorite nude shade in the collection. I love it. And that is the completed look, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out and all that other good stuff and dealing with me because I definitely had way too much caffeine this morning. Um, I opted for a cold brew when I normally get a regular one, and I feel like that one just puts me on a whole nother level. So I apologize if I was annoying, um, but I don't actually care if I was at the same time because you did stay through it, so, you know. <laughs> 